everyone, I am Mr. Bogala, a final year student from the Department of Zoology and Microbiology at the VRR Women's College. I hope everybody are in good health and safe at home. Global pandemic. It is an outbreak of disease that occur over a wide geographic area like multiple continents and affect the exceptional high proportion of population. I am going to discuss about few pandemics along with my mates. I will be dealing with black death, cholera by Devora, flu by Lahari, HIV AIDS by uh, Shravanti, COVID-19 by Haritya. Black Death sounds deadly and was also a deadly pandemic in 14th century, which is also known as the Black. Notably, there were about 75 to 200 million deaths that occurred over worldwide during the period of 1346 to 1353. This was the second disaster affecting Europe during the late Middle Age period and wiped out about 30 to 60 percent of its population. This is caused by bacterium Yersinia pestis which can also cause septicemic pneumonic plague and most commonly causes bulbonic plague. Hello everybody, I hope everyone are doing good. I am Deborah, a microbiology student. As we know that people across the world are facing pandemic, well I would like to talk to you about one of the pandemic disease that is cholera disease. The cholera is a bacterial disease. The positive agent is Vibrio cholerae. So this cholera is an infection to the small intestines by some strains of bacterium Vibrio cholerae. There are almost seven cholera pandemics that have been occurred in past 200 years, with the first pandemic originating in India in 1817, in 1991 to 1994 in South Africa, and recently 2016 to 2020 in Yemen. But the cholera still exists in Africa and South African regions. Deaths between 1817 to 1860 are estimated to have exceedingly 15 million people, another 23 million people died between 1865 to 1970. Now the causes. The causes of the disease are foods and drinks that are sold by street vendors, municipal water supply are some of the causes. Now let's talk about the symptoms. The symptoms are diarrhea, vomitings, nausea, electrolytic imbalance. Treatment. People who are affected with this disease requires immediate treatment because the disease may cause death within hours. Hello everyone, myself Lahari. People across the world are facing pandemic. Influenza is one among the pandemic diseases also called as flu. There are four types of flu. They are Black Death, Asiatic Flu from 1889 to 1890. Spanish flu from 1918 to 1920, H1N1 sign flu 2009 to 2010. Flu pandemic first occurred in 1889 in Russia as also sometimes known as Russian flu. It reached the American continent just 70 days after the begin and ultimately affected approximately 40% of the world's population. Basically, flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza virus. When people flu, cough or sneeze, you can inhale the droplets that contain flu virus, which infect the cells and make copies of themselves. Flu virus infection triggers inflammation in our body, which produces flu symptoms. Severe inflammation can cause lung damage and other serious problems. Body immune system responds by sending proteins called antibodies, which helps to fight against the infection. Some people experience serious flu complications, they can lead to hospitalization and even death. The vaccines have been shown to reduce the risk of catching flu. The prevention methods for flu are Influenza vaccine should be done once in a year. Cover your nose, mouth with a tissue or a hanky when you cough or sneeze. Wash your hands with soap, use alcohol-based sanitizers, stop touching your nose, eyes, mouth, etc. I hope this video helps you all. Thank you. Nowadays, HIV tests are generally done by RT-PCR that is reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction by taking the blood samples from the patient. It gives the graph of number of CD4 cells and the replication rate of the virus. But unfortunately, nowadays, we don't have any treatment or any prevention for this because AIDS is a fatal disease, that is, it kills the patient. 
as it is a fatal disease so it doesn't have any vaccination or any permanent cure for this but patient's lifespan can be extended by certain drugs these drugs are these drugs are like azidothymidine and dibuoxycycline so as it is said prevention is better than cure so prevent by engaging in sex education and having a safe sexual behavior and stay out of infected needles infected syringes and stay out of all the blood transfusions and be secure during blood transfusion thank you Hello everyone, this is Haripriya Gajula from Habibiara Women's College from the Department of Microbiology and Zoology. Today I am connecting you all from my house during this time of coronavirus. Whatever you are, I hope that you and your family are safe and well. In this video, I am going to share a good bit of information about coronavirus and I hope this will help you. So, talking about coronavirus, coronavirus is officially called COVID-19. That comes from the words coronavirus disease 2019. Coronavirus is basically an infectious disease that is caused by a newly discovered virus called coronavirus. Let's talk about some of the common symptoms of the coronavirus. The person infected will experience a mild to moderate amount of the respiratory illness and recover soon without requiring any special treatment. But in the older people and those who are underlying with the medical problems like cancer, diabetics, etc. or even cardiovascular diseases will are more likely to undergo with the serious illness. How does this coronavirus spread? Coronavirus spreads through primarily through the droplets of the saliva or the discharge from the nose of an infected person when he coughs or sneezes. So every person here should importantly practice this respiratory etiquette. For example, coughing in a flex elbow. Flex elbow is nothing but holding up your hand right here and your mouth <coughs> coughing. This is how it works. So the best part to prevent or slow down this transmission is well informed by COVID-19. Protect yourself, protect others by washing your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds at least and do not touch your face without washing your hands or you can use frequently a alcohol based hand sanitizer also. To be very conscious about there are no specific vaccines or treatments available for COVID-19. However, there are many ongoing clinical trials are evaluating the potential treatments. WHO will provide us with the updated information as soon as these clinical findings are available. So stay informed. More importantly, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. I hope this video was informative and we would like to thank Dr. Pradhuda Ma'am, the head of the Department of Zoology and Microbiology and the lecturers of the department for giving us this opportunity. I also like to thank my friends who participated volunteer.